Hi everybody, this is Miss Gilding. I'm glad you're here to practice story comprehension with me. Let's map a story. Leola and the Honey Bears. Special message for parents. There's a link to a printable in the description below. If you want to print out the story map, you can work with me and we can map the story together. Remember, if I go too fast, you can always press pause on the video to catch up. Now let's get started. Leola and the Honey Bears is an African-American retelling of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, written by Melody Benson Rosales. When we're mapping a story, and when we're doing work, we always have to have special tools. Mapping a story takes a special kind of tool called a story map. Let's look at our story map now. Here is our story map. It doesn't have anything filled in yet because we have to do it together. But you can see that the story map has many parts and lots of different shaped rectangles. Let's talk about what those rectangles are for. At the top of the story map, you can see the pink arrow pointing to that line. That is where we should write the title of the book. Next on the story map is a line with squares. Those are for the characters in the story. The characters in a story are the people or animals who are doing the story. The story is about them. The next section of our story map is for the setting of the story. Our map says, where is the story? Sometimes it might say, when is the story? But we need to figure out where the story is happening. That's what we need to put in this middle section. In the bottom section of our story map, we need to put what happens in the story. In this box, we need to write what happens first in the story. In this box, we need to write or draw what happens second in the story. In this box, we need to write or draw what happens third in the story. Sometimes stories have so many important things you may want to turn your paper over and make more boxes on the back. We're finally ready to start. Remember, if you're doing this along with me, you can pause the video if I go too fast. Remember, the title of the story goes on the top line. This story is called Leola and the Honey Bears. And there it is on the top of the story map. I wrote it in brown so you can see it. Now let's get started on the characters. I used pictures from the book, but you can use your crayon or a pencil to draw pictures of the characters. Now who is the first character? Oh, I heard somebody say Leola. Let's put Leola as the first character. Who are some of the other characters? The three bears, you're right. There's Papa Bear. There's Mama Bear, and there's Baby Bear. We have two more spots. Who else is in the story? Who scares Leola? You're right, it's old Mr. Weasel. The last character is at the beginning and the end of the book, and she loves Leola so much. Do you know who it is? You're right, it's her grandmama. You did a great job helping me with the characters of the story. Now we have to think about where is this story? Where are they in the story? You're right, they're in the woods. And they're also sometimes at the Honey Bears Inn. Next, we have to think about what happened in the story. What happened first, second, and third? The first thing that happened in the story was what? That's right, Leola ran away from her grandmama and got lost in the woods. She was very scared. What were the things that happened second in the story? You got it, Leola was at the Bears Inn and she did lots of things. She ate all their food, she tried out their chairs, and she tried out their beds, and then she fell asleep. 
what happened third in the story. In our page, it's what happened last in the story. Let's think. You're right. Leola got sent safely back home to her grandmama. And then, from that day on, she always listened to her grandmama. Well, most of the time. Thanks for doing the story map with Miss Gilding. Leola and the Honey Bears is one of my favorites, and I'm so glad you were with me to map the story.